What's going on? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow back with the Boxer Clinic. Shout out to the LDBC. And uh, today we're bringing a prediction, breakdown prediction video for Joe Smith Jr. versus Sullivan Barrera. Um, I think it's going down at the forum, the newly, newly renovated, renovated uh, forum in Inglewood, California. Um, on HBO, it's part of a triple header. I think it's the opening television bout. Um, the, uh, the main event is pretty much uh, Miguel Burchick. Mexican uh, super featherweight WBC champion, same division as um, you know, Vasal Lomachenko and Javante Tank Davis, Tevin Farmer. Um, it's a good solid division amongst others. Salito's there. Um, you know, he's taking on uh, Takashi Miura. I did a prediction video for that on the page. You can go on YouTube and find that or Facebook as well. Um, follow us on Facebook at The Boxing Clinic, Instagram, The Boxing Clinic 313. Obviously, you can subscribe to us on YouTube. Um, you got a good lot of it. That's a triple header. You got a uh, Fox Sports and Fox and a Fox regular Fox uh, card as well. On regular Fox, you got Omar Figueroa taking on Robert Guerrero, Marcus Brown, Arthur Spilka as well on the undercard. Um, that uh, also early in the day over in the UK, you got Arthur Abraham taking on Chrissy Banks Jr. Winner gets in the world uh, boxing super series. Um, other than that, you got uh, Antoine Douglas. Fighting on Showbox Friday night, so it's a lot of boxing going on. Let's get in talking about Joe Smith Jr., New York native, Long Island, New York. I think that's where he's from. And Sullivan Barrera, um, I think he's from Cuba. Um, let's talk about Sullivan Barrera. Let's do the honors first. I think he's the more known commodity. Put some respect on his name. You dig? And um, you know he's a guy we've seen versus for the first time. Most people seen him versus Andre Ward. He had a gold medal in one of those games, world youth game, the Pan Am game, whatever he do. So he does have some pedigree, amateur pedigree behind him. Um, good thing about him is, you know, he ain't super good at anything, but he's solid. You know, he's moving better since leaving Abel Sanchez. You know, he was supposed to fight Arthur Better Be. He took slap for that. You know, he didn't show up to the press conference. Turned out that uh, Arthur Better Be's promoter, Yvonne Michaels, I think that's who it is, it, it sent a shit contract. And they was only making, I think somebody was only making like 60K or 30K. It was some cheap shit like that. 10K, pulled the fight in Miami. The numbers didn't add up. So Southern Fabrera pulled out of that, pulled out of uh, out of the fight. Didn't sign the contract, said fuck it. And then they was calling him a duck, 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 goose. But then it turns out that, you know, his better be promoter was full of shit. Now he's on the shelf. He's in a dispute to be released from his contract from Yvonne Michaels. I think if that's his promoter, don't quote me on that. So he's on the shelf for a while, if, if that's what you're wondering about. Um, Joe Smith Jr., last seen knocking out Bernard Hopkins sometime last year. I can't give you an exact date on that. Um, being a little bit inactive. Um, good fighter, though. Good fighter. Very aggressive guy. Um, tough blue-collar mentality. He uh, has an Irish ethnicity behind in his blood as well. Um, and he's a gold mine, man. He's a gold mine. He's supposed to fight Adonis Stevenson uh, sometime this year. Both sides wanted to act like they the A side. They had the Madison Square Garden, damn near sold up for that fight. And uh, Donna Stevenson, you know, wanted to play a uh, guy to be the majority A side. So Joe Smith Jr. chose to move on. Moved on so long that he didn't get a fight until now, <laughs> this Saturday. So it hurt him. Um, you know, he's been inactive. He's been knocked out once before um, earlier in his career. He's never been a full time fighter until up and sometime at this point. So that's something to look at. Um, He's only been, I think, eight or ten rounds the most. Sullivan Barrera has been 12 once with Andre Ward, so he has that experience. I think Sullivan Barrera's fought the, the better um, competition, in my opinion, with Andre Ward and the Shabowski kid that he beat, that he's supposed to be the next great light heavyweight coming up. Um, Sullivan Barrera put an end to that. And um, let's talk about strategic breakdown really, really quick. Um, Sullivan Barrera, man, he, he got a good check hook. Um, and he got a good right hand. He's an orthodox fighter. Um, he'll throw the right hand upstairs. Occasionally, when he's in close distance, he'll throw the right hand downstairs. He'll do a little body work, but not too much. And um, like he got better since he lost to Andre Ward, for sure. He's not a super athlete. When I seen him versus Andre Ward, he looked kind of uncoordinated, wibbity-wobbly in the ring. He didn't look like a fluid mover of a boxer. I told you guys when I break down film and look at a boxer, I look the way he moved. It's one of the first things. Does he move like a fighter? Is the footwork good? You know, as well, and he's improved. I can tell you, he's improved. He looks more like a mover. He's six two. He has a two inch uh, height advantage over Joe Smith Jr., which kind of it could help if he uses it. But I don't know if he can control distance like that. But he got a good right hand. You know, coming down the pipe, good check hook. Um, 
You know, he's not, he, he doesn't have super fast hands. He's adequate in the speed department. He's above average in the power department. He got good power as well, but he's not a great defender, but he does great defense, good defensive things. You know, when he throws that left hook, you know, he's, he's leaving that right hand right on the earmuff to block what's coming back. So he is aware of making uh, adjustments like that. He's tightening up his defense, um, you know, down the stretch. He had a little wild and lackluster fight with pay-per-view Paul Parker, who will never be on pay-per-view. But that is what it is. And Joe Smith Jr. is an aggressive guy. Um, since, you know, I've seen him knock out from four, I go back and look at some um, film versus him and Corey Cum- Cummings as well. Um, and, you know, he's improving. You know, he showed Bernard Hopkins no respect. I think he followed the Sergey Kovalev blueprint with beating him to the head to wherever you can hit him, shoulders, body, and wearing him down. He's a good body puncher as well. He likes to commit to the body. Um, the thing about Joe Smith Jr. is the right hand, man. He'll hook it. He a uh, hybrid into an overhand. He a bring it straight down the middle. He got a, a, a good jab as well. He got an adequate jab, and he can commit to the body and, and do some body abuse as well. He doesn't mind committing to the body. He will take something to get some, and Barrera got to use that to his advantage. You know, uh, if he chooses to box him and control business and, and, and use his feet and, and do things of that nature, um, good for him. But you know, you have to understand that you have to be stationary at some point, and why not pick your stationary and aggressive spots? To gain some respect with your own right hand on your own left hand, your left hook. I think the left hook, right right hand combination uh, upstairs for for Joseph, I mean for Sullivan Brer is going to be key. But Joe Smith Jr. is going to be, uh, you know, bringing that right hand over the top or down the middle to keep Sullivan Brer. I mean to keep Sullivan Brer, yeah, off off balance, not knowing where that right hand going to come. And also that he got a solid left hook, Joe Smith Jr. He can work it upstairs and downstairs. So I think he's going to. You know, focus on beating that body down and bringing that left hook upstairs and coming over, over the top with the overhand right, over the, the overhand right. You know, he likes to throw hook the right, bring it straight down the middle. He's going to keep Sullivan Barrera guessing all night with that. Sullivan Barrera is going to have to pick his time when this guy gets over over aggressive to slide his right hand in there, and then when he's conscious of the right or left hand, you know, switch it up. You know, and continue to touch him to the body a little bit. Um, but I think Joe Smith Jr. is going to get the knockout, technical knockout in the sixth round. I think his overhand right is going to be too much for Sullivan Barrera. I don't trust Sullivan Barrera to control distance and be defensive uh, conscious. I got Joe Smith Jr. sixth round technical knockout. We gone.